Today I'm going over a horrifying backrooms entity that was just discovered. I hope you like being disgusted and terrified and freaked out a little because this creature does all that to you. Seriously. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? Backrooms Entity 888, or the Veins, as they've been nicknamed, are classified as a Class 4 difficulty for a multitude of reasons. They're aggressive, they're intelligent, and they seem to be able to communicate with other Vein entities across the backrooms. These things are not to be approached or messed with or searched for in any way, and I'm going to split this video into three parts to make the explanation easier to understand. The first encounter. The existence of Entity 888 has gone unnoticed and undocumented in the backrooms for many years. They were actually first documented just three months ago, somewhere in level 831, or the destroyed laboratory. And this first encounter was actually a complete accident. You see, level 831 had been discovered already. It's been named and decently explored before this entity was even seen. So it makes it even stranger that these creatures went unnoticed in a place that was already explored. The level itself was given an undetermined classification with the possibility of entities living there, but none of it was confirmed. You know, people thought there might be one, but now we know there is. Now, the wanderer who had this first encounter entered level 831 through the boiler room of level 141, and they found themselves inside of this seemingly empty laboratory. The wanderer saw no immediate danger inside of this area, so they decided to lay down and sleep because it was nighttime. The location they chose to sleep in, they walked in the room, cracked the door open, walked to the desk, put out their sleeping bag under the desk, and went to bed. After being asleep for a few hours, the wanderer awoke out of a deep sleep to the sound of squelching footsteps getting closer to the door. They were obviously out in the hallway. The sound these footsteps made was something like a giant snail moving would make because of all that weird liquid they have on them. Obviously, the wanderer was frozen in fear because hearing footsteps that are squelching outside of your room when you're sleeping is scary. So the wanderer did not try to move. While he laid under that table in that lab room, he saw the creature walking past the door. The wanderer then covered themselves in their sleeping bag and hid under the table until it became daylight. After that, the creature was reported and is now known as Entity 888, and several encounters were to follow, all of which describe the entity like this. Entity Description So there's only been a handful of encounters with vain entities in the last three months since their discovery, but each account describes the entity in a similar fashion. No photographs have been captured of this entity, so all the images that you're seeing now are digital recreations and witness encounters and drawings from people who have seen it. The creature is anywhere from 5 to 7 feet tall, and they look human without any skin. It seems to be a walking nervous system somehow. And the nervous system in the human body is the veins, brain, and eyes and things like that. So it looks like your nervous system is just walking around with no bones or skin or anything or organs. The entities have large piercing eyes and this undulating slimy goo that's dripping all over around them. The goo seems to come from the brain somewhere and its purpose is unknown, but it seems to be to protect the creature somehow. Vein entities have proven to be very aggressive, and they can run extremely fast, despite their skinny little legs, to chase down prey. Their arms and legs are very awkward and stringy, and they all flail around when they walk, almost as if they don't have control over them. But they have been seen opening doors and moving things with their hands, so we don't know how that works. They seem to produce a very strange digital scream sound when they vocalize. Now, they don't have a mouth, because it just a nervous system, but the sound comes from their face where a mouth would be. It resembles a speaker that's been covered up. Very scary stuff. But all that isn't even the weirdest part, or the scariest part, because this entity has another ability that terrifies wanderers and researchers alike. It's the natural camouflage ability that it has. Think of an octopus or a chameleon, how they can change their color based on their environment. Yeah, these entities can do that too. Since they're relatively flat, with no 3D mass, they can back into a wall, change colors to match the wall, and blend right in without anyone knowing. 
This would explain how they went so long without being discovered. It might also answer the phenomenon in the back rooms where people tend to say that walls are talking to them, or they're hearing words from walls. It might not have been the actual walls talking, it might have been a vain entity camouflaged in the wall talking to them. Veins have been seen in hallways standing by each other as well, but eerily, they just stand and they stare into each other's eyes without speaking. No noises, nothing. Now, people have heard vocalizing when they're chasing after prey, but for some reason, they don't vocalize to each other. Is this because they can talk telepathically and they don't need to talk to each other, or is it that they can't form words? We just don't know. So I've gone over every officially documented thing that we have so far how it looks, how it originated, and where it's generally at. But of course, a lot of information is still unknown about these creatures. Like, what do they eat? Can they eat? How do they get made? What do they control? But since there's no information on all that, it's time for the third and final part of the video, the theories portion, where I'm gonna dive into some proposed theories about these entities. Buckle up, it's getting crazy. I have three theories specifically that I wanna touch on, or hundreds more that I might say for a part two. But the first one is, veins control the back rooms. Now this theory is a very popular theory amongst wanderers who have seen them or encountered them. There's no direct evidence to support the theory, but a few things do pique my interest about it. For instance, they seem to be very powerful. They can go pretty much invisible, and they might have the ability to communicate telepathically. And they definitely have a very high level of intelligence, as witnessed by multiple wanderers. All those traits are what I would think someone who controls the back rooms would have. Another thing that adds to this theory is that they were never seen at all until the first encounter on level 831. So it's almost like they're letting themselves be seen now, and we are not the ones discovering them, they're letting us look at them. There's also an unknown amount of these creatures. Like, there could be five or ten or thousands. We just don't know how big their reach is. But if they can all talk telepathically across different levels in the back rooms, it would make it pretty easy to control the way things are happening. And if there's two veins on each level, and they can talk across levels, sounds to me like they could control it. The next theory is that veins are just normal entities. And this theory is mainly proposed by the people who have never witnessed one. There are a load of weird creatures in the back rooms after all, like insanities or people with the SFV virus or skin stealers or bone thieves, stuff like that. And this creature would blend right into that weird category. I mean, they haven't outwardly shown any real proof that they're in control of the back rooms. Like they've never been seen changing the ways walls are shaped or the way paths go. But like I said, we just discovered them, so we don't know. Until we can prove that they're telepathic, we really won't know how powerful they truly are. The last theory is that veins were once people. Specifically, that they were all people who got exposed to some kind of radiation or gas or something that caused them to look like this. Or turn them into this. Some believers of this theory also add that they could be some kind of experiment gone wrong, and they were released here recently. At the end of the day, we don't have enough information to confirm or deny any of these theories because the discovery of this creature is just too recent. Maybe one day when more information is found out, we'll know their true motive and origins. But for now, we have no idea if they're just terrifying looking or they're actually dangerous. We don't know. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little entity creation video. I made the entire thing, the lore, all that stuff, if you're wondering. If you weren't wondering, that's okay. I'm just telling you. Thank you for all you do. I love and appreciate you all on the road to a million subscribers. We're so close. Check below if you want to support. Help me get there. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.